In your health check this morning, new research shedding light on just how much microplastics are in our bodies. A study found an entire spoon's worth of microplastics inside human brain samples. The research looked at brain samples collected in 2024 showed a 50% increase in microplastics compared to samples from 2016. Now, this is concerning. Doctors do warn the study is still in its early stages, so no conclusions are being drawn yet. Uh, however, there are steps you can take to at least limit your exposure to microplastics. Metal, other things that we can use to store our food, that's a great alternative to using plastic. A single-use plastic container, only use it one time. And also kind of be cognizant of where you're storing plastics. Don't leave water bottles in cars that can heat up and increase your exposure to microplastics. You can also use reusable or recyclable bags instead of plastic ones. So even a simple switch to a wooden cutting board can limit your exposure. Uh, again, doctors say there needs to be more research done before linking uh, this to any brain disease. But, you know, I tell you what, Mark, whenever uh, you've heard about different fertility studies linked to this. Um, not, not positive. We mitigated so many things uh, years ago when trying to get pregnant. So cutting boards, utensils that you're cooking your food. Yeah, they are everywhere. That. Yeah. And uh, what I read, too, it's, it's not looking good. So if you can cut them out, it's a big help.